Hi beauties, our topic today is anti-aging tips that you can use at any age. And anti-aging is not just about looking good, although of course we all wanna look good, there is no denying that. But besides looking good, anti-aging can encompass feeling good, having great energy, having great moods, just our day-to-day -day life experience. So today I'm gonna to cover some tips for longevity, both from a dietary and food perspective and also from a lifestyle practice. So I want to talk about, first of all, some of the research that has been covering blue zones, which are areas in the world where people are living the longest lives. Um, these are groups of people which are said to have certain characteristics in common. And I'll share personally that I was recently at a dinner party with Dan Buettner, who is the person that coined the term blue zones. He is a National Geographic explorer. He's an amazing man. I'm trying to get him for a podcast interview. But anyways, as far as what they have been finding about blue zones, um, here are some of the things they have in common. They move their body a lot. No surprise there. We're meant to be dynamic. We're meant to move. We're meant to exercise, to not sit all day. So anytime you can move around more and run more errands and park a little bit further away and run after your kids, that's always going to be great. Number two, they have social circles, social circles that reinforce healthy behaviors. We have the Saluna circle, speaking of which, healthy behaviors I wanna talk about here. Sometimes we have friends and family members that can be a little bit of a bummer the way that um, they're eating or maybe we're going in different directions uh, with our lifestyle or the way we're evolving. That's okay, life, you know, we shift, we change, we grow, and so do our circles. Um, so make sure to seek out healthy circles like the Saluna Circle, some like-minded friends, and that socialness, that community is so key. They take time to de-stress, and they're part of communities. There's the community word again, and they are committed to their families. So now I want to mention a study that has come out of the New England Journal of Medicine um, that's talking about healthy foods consistently playing a large role in your longevity. Um, this is referencing a research study out of Harvard where they monitored the eating habits of 50,000 women and more than 25,000 men for over 12 years. They compared the information on dietary change for the 12 years and um, they found that those components of a healthy diet, what they coined a longevity in diet, emphasized whole grains, fruit, veggies, and limiting unhealthy fat, sodium, sugar sweetened, and processed foods and red meat. This was related to their overall health and, um, and, and death rates. People whose point tallies improved by 20% over the 12 year follow-up period were eight to, 12, eight to 17 times less likely to pass away during that time. So not to be morbid here, but more um, in the macrocosmic picture that the way that we eat, the way that we live our life is going to allow us to experience life at a higher level where we can feel good, we can acquire more wisdom, we can grow, we can evolve, we can have energy, and we can also have great skin and great hair. So from a dietary standpoint, I want to emphasize the power of fruit. Fruit is sweet and it's non-sweet. Some of my, the definition of fruit is it contains the seed within it. So some non-fruit, non-fruit, non-sweet fruit that I absolutely love include avocados, cucumbers, bell peppers. Um, I also love all fruit pretty much, um, papayas, bananas. Fruit is this amazing mixture of compounds in nature. It's the, it's the nectar, it's the pinnacle. It's got everything from fiber, antioxidants, phytonutrients. We don't even, science doesn't even know all the different amazing compounds in fruit and vitamins. So do not be scared of eating fruit. Eat it on its own, eat it on an empty stomach or have it in your glowing green smoothie and you will get incredible longevity benefits. Vegetables, of course. We all know veggies are good for us. I want to call out some of my favorite this season, uh, which include wild greens. Go to your farmer's market. Check out some some weeds, fennel. Um, even shiitake mushrooms are really great right now. I've gotten back into the mushroom kick. Tomatoes, all fantastic. 
protein, of course we all need lean protein, we all need um, easily assimilated protein to maintain the integrity of our cells, to build healthy hair, um, nails, so on. So I love getting protein from plant-based sources. I think that legumes, sprouted lentils, are a huge part of our family diet right now here in the house. I love them, Bubby loves them, the whole village eats them all the time. Uh, chickpeas, I'm on a big hummus kick. There's a brand, by the way, called Majestic, that is, if you, if you sells in your area, I highly recommend it, they use sprouted chickpeas, which makes it easier to digest, or, and, or, both and, if, even if you're having them sprouted, and also, or, if they are not sprouted, I still recommend having our feel-good digestive enzymes with hummus, with your wraps, It just makes sure that you're getting the most nutrition from your food. And nuts, beans, also grains was one of the uh, foods that was studied in the Harvard study. So we live in a confusing world right now where there's a lot of different information coming at us. I just wanna reinforce our Saluna Beauty Detox philosophy, which especially if the grains are sprouted, prepared um, in that way, if they're gluten-free, grains are part of our diet. They have been part of a longevity diet you know, across millennia. Um, it's a huge food group in traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, um, and cultures in Japan and South America where these blue zones are located as well. I do recommend if you are a busy person, like pretty much all of us, that you are buying your grains sprouted. I get sprouted brown rice now, I get sprouted um, quinoa, I don't have time as much as I used to to sprout and, and ferment now that I'm a busy working mom. So you can look for those items. They may be a dollar or two more, but it's worth it because sprouting helps to remove the lectins and the phytic acid. It makes it easier to digest. So remember that you can apply these anti-aging tips at any age. You can continue to build your vitality, your beauty, how you feel in your body, and use the most of this amazing, precious life. Thank you so much, Beauty, for tuning in, sending you lots of love. Be sure to check out all our other offerings here at Saluna, including our Feel Good podcast, our supplements, our clean, high-performance skincare. I will see you back here soon. Till then, take care and so much love.